in the previous video I hope I explained well enough sim generic these are logs that were not even offered to any parser because there was no hope in, in, in getting them to be recognized I couldn't find a host name because the source name from the protocol got fooled by this jeer in the middle which is not compliant and um, so I don't have a host name I'm not going to give it to anybody that is what is the generic or non-generic log event on the same generic this one uh, was because we disable auto discovery and there's no host name A all in capital and this is case sensitive uh, therefore I don't have anybody to offer this so I send it immediately to sim generic to save performance time and this one is not even properly formatted it doesn't even have the headers so again it was sent to sim generic but we broke the logs that worked before the host name A and host name B and introduced some strenuous characters in it if we take a look at this one uh, actually right away what we did is that we actually put what it says in the product identification which is carbon black and this is protection we added these four ones to throw it up to, to confuse the, the the parser so in this particular case it found a candidate a source name host name B but the parser immediately rejected it because of this product identification failure so notice that first of all there's no possibility of mapping this to any QID and this stuff is really it was not parsed well at all in fact I only have the source IP and destination IP the same which is the place where I sent the, the, the Kali machine where I sent this log basically nothing else was parsed and in a sense this is very similar to what happened with the scene generic if we click in any one of these scene generics we see that none of this stuff is actually parsed either but at least in this particular case, in the store case, there was a host, a source, log source uh, uh, identified, and it was kind of an educated guess, and it was passed to it as well. This might be yours, but then the DSM immediately rejected it and say, well, no. Then it goes to store uh, for that reason. One way of dealing with this and understanding this better is actually select that event that is a store and go and look at in the DSM editor and we see that well the event category seems to be carbon black protection but the event name is actually unknown so we actually modify the log in this particular case to show the third example we seem seem generic we seem uh, store and now unknown uh, in the low-level category, just plain unknown, non unknown generic, just unknown. Uh, if we actually open this event, we see that there's been some parsing. We see username, we see you know IPv6 source IP. So, so some was was parsed, but it, everything is not quite right, and that's what is is being referred as unknown. And notice that in here, the event ID, which is supposed to be first execution on network is actually 111 and if we see here we can even click here we see that that, that is in in green while in the other ones is actually grayed out it actually tried to say well the source I event ID is this one but I don't have a QID for it right and more on that I'll come back to this later so and how, how you will fix this in a in a real case scenario which is not that the one I having here which will modify the logs uh, so again going back to the other two events if we go to the store notice that there's not even any mapping this is all grayed out if we go to the sim generic ones same thing right so you could actually go here let me open this on the in the on in the DSM editor and you can actually see this that this event ID is uh, kind of uh, strange and you can actually go into the properties and, and modify it and uh, and override the system behavior and make it match that uh, but first of all what you need to do if you encounter a situation like this is okay do I have the latest version of the parser 
And if I do, is this something that is because my logs, I modify them and I'm putting something that is custom? Uh, so there's no probability that IBM will fix this because this is something that we did. Then you need to go into the DSM editor and fix it yourself. Uh, or it could be a defect, and you may want to tell the folks on IBM, hey, you know, there's a new version of the product is throwing this, and, and, and so, somehow you need to actually uh, update your parser for that. And one obvious thing is make sure that you, typically these parsers are updated every time you do auto-update. Make sure you check when was the last time that you did auto-update. So once more, seem generic, no hope wasn't even offered to any DSM. There was no a source name that could be identified to a log source. Uh, stored, there was a log source identified, so it was passed to it, but it immediately rejected it because it didn't find the right things that it needs to find in the... And this unknown, well, there's no mapping. You notice that there is an event ID, but there's no QID associated with it, right? So let's say that this is something that you want to fix because it's something custom or you cannot wait uh, for, for IBM to fix it. Uh, so let me actually, before I even do that, let me eliminate a bunch of things that I don't need here. So I can see everything. Uh, just, I don't need IPv6 and looks at time that I need. any of this, uh, not even the username, nor the severity. Well, I can leave that. Let's see. That should fit all in one one page, right? So, obviously, we have this event name, this event ID that doesn't have the right mapping. Let's actually fix this, just for the sake of completeness. So I'm going to grab this uh, event ID and we're going to add a mapping to it. So I put that in the clipboard, go into event mapping, click event ID and say we're going to call this uh, discovery. Okay. So we're going to click on choose ID. We're going to create a new QID for that. We're going to paste the name here. We're going to remove the strenuous uh, characters in here. We can put a description here, you know, some description in the log source type. This is the carbon black protection DSM. And again, I'm selecting something here just for quick leave save. We click OK. We click create. So now the event name is not like known anymore. And just in case you wonder with this asterisk means that this means uh, values that were retrieved from tables, okay? While the ones that do not have the asterisk are things that were extracted from the payload. So this QID was retrieved from a table, was not on the actual uh, payload, but uh, this uh, event ID was in the payload. We can save this, changes. We can close this here. And if we replay, replay the logs that we alter, these should be fixed and we get first execution on network and we get the ACL denoid. No longer is known. So I hope these two videos, last two videos, help you understand seem generic, store and unknown. And even if you need to open a ticket, you you are more knowledgeable on the lingo and how you how you can communicate and you can express the things that you have already tried to make sure that the resolution of your problem, if it doesn't, if you cannot resolve it with this, can uh, can go quick quicker because you understand the lingo on and you understand better how parsing works in uh, QReader. 
more stuff coming in the subsequent videos. We're going to be doing one on uh, uh, parsing order and syslog redirect and other things.